Hey guys, welcome back to Back Pocket Game Reviews. And today we are going to talk about Kirby Star Allies. Not in the sense of we are going to review Kirby Star Allies because it comes out tomorrow. I will be getting my copy tomorrow. I will probably be doing a drive stream over on BPGR Live where we'll talk about some topics going on in the world. Uh, I am going to be getting back into doing more drive streams. And today's video is also brought to you by Saber Prime. So, what are we going to talk about about Kirby Star Allies? Well, apparently a lot of reviewers are saying Kirby Star Allies is too easy. Literally, this is a common complaint. Um, so, video game journalism has been called into question a lot over the last couple of years. Um, especially during Cuphead where they showed the one guy who was supposed to be reviewing the game couldn't even make it through the tutorial and literally wasn't even accomplishing what the tutorial was instructing him to do. The tutorial is actually extremely easy, despite Cuphead being the Dark Souls of 2D platformer games, tutorial is cakewalk. Um, but a lot of video game journalists aren't necessarily always reviewing from the perspective they need. And that's something that extremely bothers me. There's a lot of times where I avoid reviewing a game, uh, specifically because I, I didn't like the game, but I can blatantly tell you it's a really good game, and if this is a story for you, Prey being one of the best examples. I'm not a huge horror game fan. Um, I expected Prey to pr be a little more towards the whole action-oriented kind of horror game, and it wasn't. It was very much so a straight-up, we're going to give you limited ammo, you're going to have this weird puff gun that stops these shape-shifting things. I had a lot of issues getting into Prey. Uh, I, I don't feel the game is broken. I don't feel it was poorly made. It's very well made. It's a very pretty game. Uh, controls worked well. That, that's I can't bash the game. Now, a lot of these reviewers are telling you Kirby Star Allies is too easy. I'm going to be very upfront here. Almost everyone's probably played a Kirby game at some point in their life. Whether it be Kirby's Dream Land on the Game Boy, Kirby's Dream Land 2 on the Game Boy, uh, Kirby's Adventure on the NES. Uh, Kirby's Dream Land 3 on the Super Nintendo, Kirby's Return to Dream Land on the Wii. You get the point here, right? There's been a lot of Kirby games. There's even been two that have come out on the 2DS that were considerably mainline franchises, and Kirby's always been a system, a handheld seller. Kirby's always been one that excels very well on Nintendo's handhelds. Um, I've always been a big fan of Kirby since I was a kid. I will tell you right now, they have always been some of the easiest games on the market. There is nothing overly complex or hard about Kirby's games. You don't have an insanely low amount of lives before you die. It's not, and your health bar is pretty big, all right? This isn't like Mario, where one time and you shrink, next time you're dead. It's not like that, all right? You can take quite a few hits as Kirby. You can even float around. You can inhale anything. Kirby has a severe huffing problem, unfortunately, for the pink little puffball. But, but, never has there been a Kirby game where I will tell you that they have been an overwhelmingly hard game. That is just not a part of the Kirby franchise. Kirby is more of a mellow and enjoy yourself kind of game. That's acceptable. You can make a game like that. For the entire franchise to have been like that, and for you as a game reviewer to go, it's too easy. Well, dumb dumb, the entire series has been that way. Now, I think that's the hard part too, is sometimes it's hard to put personal preference aside as a reviewer. That's part of why all of my reviews going forward, I plan on doing as live streams. 
I can sit here and show you a nice little highlight reel or however I want to make the game look. If I felt the game was trash, I can make that little highlight reel look like trash. If I felt the game was great, I can make that highlight reel look great. I don't want to spin you an ad or a bash for that game based around my opinion alone. That's why I, when I typically want to find out if I'm going to like a game or not, I typically try to watch a live stream. I think it is more intuitive of what I will be doing periodically throughout the game rather than here's your highlights chopped up real quickly and let me feed them to you. I, there's just there's so many things wrong in game journalism and it bothers me so badly. Um, and that's part of what I've been dwelling on and part of why you haven't really seen me posting as much as I've been thinking about what direction do I want to go in? What way do I want to take things? Personally, I'm going to be doing more live streams. I will probably be doing the live streams on Back Pocket Game Reviews when I'm playing a game that I won't, or on BPGR Live when I'm not reviewing it, and on Back Pocket Game Reviews when it's going to be more of a review. So that first time I'm playing that game and getting to interact with that game, I want you to be able to see that. I want you to be able to see... Here was his first impressions. Here's how he thought, what he thought of it. I want you to see it as I see it. Um, it's at least my opinion, how I think of this situation. Um, but then also, if you have a question during it, I can answer that question for you. Or it, it's going to be a little more intuitive, in my opinion. Yes, this, this video started off about Kirby, which still is about Kirby because it does really bother me. Um, and it also bothers me that there's so many reviewers on YouTube that are willing to flop. There are, there've been numerous times they've been caught telling you a game is awesome that they didn't actually enjoy because they received a free copy of the game, right? That's not something I'm gonna do. I don't reach out for free copies of the game. People on my Patreon help make sure of that. That, that's the whole point of why I started a Patreon. I don't want handouts just because it's going to make it more affordable for my channel. I want to be able to be honest with you about any of the products that I am touching. And the few things that I have reached out for paid reviews on, such as Squatty Potty, I reached out for. It. And I did it publicly. I didn't private message the company. I straight up added them on Twitter so you all could watch me do so. Um, and there are, and I'm not, I'm never going to reach out for a product I don't already like. So if you see me at someone on Twitter asking, hey, do you want to work together? It's because I already like that product a lot. I'm not going to pitch you one that I don't like. I'm not going to tell you about something I thought was garbage unless I'm straight telling you not to buy it. And there's a lot of times where I might get to try something at a friend's house or in another shop. Um, cause I, I do go into some local stores and if I'm telling you not to buy it and it wasn't worth my money, and there's been a few products, specifically one that got a lot of backlash because I didn't have the product and I didn't show you footage. I didn't show you footage or have the product because it wasn't worth my money, so it wasn't worth yours. If I'm telling you I played it and I thought it was trash, I'm not going to waste my money on it. I, I get it, it's, it's cute that people think that I have all this money to just be blowing through. I, I make some money on YouTube. I won't say it's incredible money, because it's not. I make decent money on my Patreon. I normally make more money on my Patreon every month than I do on YouTube alone. Um, and I work as a retail manager. I, I'm not some well-off, huge, wealthy person. I'm happy, I have two kids, I have a wife, I have everything that is truly meaningful to me, and I get to talk to you awesome people about games, and I get to do it while maintaining my dignity. I'm not selling myself or rolling over for another company just because they told me they want me to. If a company does something I dislike, I'm going to call them out on it. There's been numerous times I've called out companies I like. I've done videos for you despite people wanting to think I'm an Xbox fanboy, even though I play mostly on PlayStation these days, despite everyone thinking I'm an Xbox fanboy, I've done videos for you on what I think Xbox does poorly. 
Now, obviously, you know, each console updates itself. They're constantly doing different things, and those opinions do fluctuate. Um, but I, I, want, I want my video game reviews to be as forward to you as they possibly can. I want them to be as comprehensive of what you should expect to get out of a game as it possibly can be. Um, the other thing I've been dwelling on is what what I want what mark I want to leave on the world. That is not a topic for this video though. Uh, it's just it's one of those things that's been on my mind. If YouTube ever did become full time, what, what do I want to do with that? There's been a lot of stuff in my head recently. Um, but it was nice. It was nice taking those that little hiatus, and I get it. I haven't been like fully gone. I could never be fully gone. I love you all too much. You guys are something that is able to brighten my day even on the worst days. Um, you guys are the reason why I do YouTube. You're the reason why I enjoy making the videos I make, and you help me deal with a lot of my own anxiety by being able to talk to you guys as an outlet. Um, on that note, that is the end of this video, but I also want to say, if you haven't gone and watched Boogie's video about Francis's sister abandoning him, you should. Uh, I don't know whether to be sad or find it funny. Um, I, 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 it's, it's kind of, it's both. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Also, let me know what you think about video game reviewers down in the comments down below, because this is the big topic right here. Do you, how, how do you think reviews should be done? Do you think that these are just chopped up commercials that these people are feeding you? Do you think these paid for reviews, and for God's sake, the people that are selling themselves out for a free copy of the game, 60 bucks, really? That's your, that's your rollover point? I like money. I have two kids and a wife. They cost money. That's that's what kids and wives do. They they need money for things like makeup and toys and games. I wouldn't roll over for sixty bucks. That's it's not enough. Actually, I wouldn't roll over really for any amount because that then cost me my dignity and pretty much any moral upstanding that I have. And uh, yeah, I like my morals. I'm I'm a relatively moral human being. Uh, so again, let me know, do you, what, what, what do you think about these video game reviewers? Do you feel that they should be remaining more unbiased about the game? You should be rating the game on its merit, on its creative capabilities. I, not every game needs to be Dark Souls. Could you imagine if that little air sucker was a Dark Souls game? Literally, Kirby is like the sucker fish you buy to clean your tank. He's not in there to be the coolest fish, all right? It's not the point of them. Guys, if you want to follow me anywhere, all my links are in the description box down below. Patreon, Discord, uh, Twitter, all those places I like to be active at. I'm everywhere you want to be, like the BPGR Visa card. Also, they're a good place to follow me in case YouTube notifications are broken. On that note, be sure to click that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to ding that little bell. That little bell brings you into a terrible, terrible black hole of me ranting about random things and complaining about GameStop while praise Best Buy. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll have plenty more content coming for you, and stick around.